math wizards. Today we're gonna to talk more about fractions and we're gonna take notes this way. Sorry about that visual learning thing yesterday. It happens, technology, right? So we are going to review fractions and fractions are the equal parts of one whole shape. They have to be equal. We had our example and our non-example. And then we also talked about unit fractions that represent one piece of the whole shape. So it's one fourth over here. There's four pieces all together and the unit fraction is one fourth because remember unit means one. Okay, so we're going to write down two more words today that you're going to be using a lot in your vocabulary. So learn to love them. Our first one is denominator. That's a long word. Denominator. Okay, it's a long word. And I said it yesterday, just a little bit, you may remember what a denominator is. It is the number below, it's underneath the um, fraction line. How many parts all together of a shape. This is how I remember it. Denominator down. It's underneath D. I'll put the word down here. Okay. So our denominator is how many pieces are all together. For example, if I do my square again, how many pieces are there all together? There's four pieces all together. One, two, three, four. And then two are colored in. So denominator is how many pieces all together. If I do another shape, how many pieces all together? Two. And that is a unit fraction. Okay, my denominator is how many pieces all together? Equal pieces. Okay, just like before I go to the column that has the most text and then I draw the line underneath it to keep all of my words together. And we're just gonna do one more word And now we know the bottom number, now we need to know the top number, and it is called the numerator. Numerator. And the numerator is the top number. And it tells us how many copies of the unit fraction. How many copies of the unit fraction? Let me explain that. Let's see, there it goes. Okay, for example, if I use that two-fourths one, one is the unit fraction. How many copies of it are there? How many are there? There's two of them. Okay, so that's what it means by how many copies. How many are there of them? If I do this again. How many copies of the unit fraction are there? One's colored in, and then my denominator is how many? Three pieces all together. So my denominator is the altogether number. My numerator is how many copies, how many unit fractions are there, okay? Not too bad. We're gonna go next into our visual learning and then we'll do our practice book page together. Again, um, we are on page 442, 442 to follow along. And 
Here we go. How can you show and name parts of a region? Think about this question during the lesson. Mr. Peters served part of a pan of enchilada casserole to a friend. What does each part of the whole pan of casserole represent? What part was served? What part is left? All these parts look pretty tasty, that's for sure. In this problem, what is the whole? How many parts are there all together? The whole is the whole pan of enchilada casserole. Into how many equal parts did Mr. Peters cut the whole pan of casserole? What fraction is assigned to each part? How do you know? What is the unit fraction here? How many pieces are there all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. And so the unit fraction would be one sixth. Mr. Peters cut the whole pan of casserole into six equal parts. The fraction one-sixth is assigned to each part because there are six equal parts. The whole casserole is divided into six equal parts. Each part is one-sixth of the whole. You can use fractions to represent more than one of the equal parts. Six copies of one-sixth is six sixths. So the whole is six sixths. So what he just said was six copies, six pieces, all together, six sixths equals one whole. So if your numerator and your denominator are the same number, it's always going to be one whole shape. The unit fraction is one sixth. Which part of a fraction tells the number of copies of the unit fraction? Select your answer. Remember, which number tells us how many copies of that one is, that unit fraction? That's the numerator, that's the top number. And the denominator down is my all together pieces. The numerator is the number of copies of the unit fraction. Two copies of one-sixth is two-sixths. Two-sixths of the casserole was served. Four copies of one-sixth is four-sixths. Four-sixths of the casserole is left. Which part of the fractions are the same? Why? The denominators are the same the because they show the total number of equal parts for each situation. Now you know how you can show and name parts of a region. Just remember, our denominator is how many we have all together. And the numerator is how many copies of each piece is asked about. Okay, so we're going to go to the next page. And work on our lesson from here. It says in the box, in the problem in box A on the previous page, what fraction names all the pieces of the pan? All of them. How many were there? There were six, right? Ah, I can't get it straight. Sorry. There were six. And there were how many unit fractions were there? How many copies of each one was there? Six. Six. It was cut into six pieces. So the whole fraction is six sixths. The whole thing. The numerator is how many pieces each copy was. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And our denominator tells us how many all together. All right, Mrs. Patel made a cake. What fraction of the whole cake does each piece represent? What fraction of the whole cake does each piece represent? What is the unit fraction? What is each piece worth? 
Well, we need to know how many pieces there are, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There, there's eight pieces all together. So my unit fraction would be one eighth. In the picture in exercise two, how many one eighth pieces were eaten? How many pieces were eaten? Two. And my denominator is, again, remember, denominator is down. How many all together? So how much was eaten? The fraction is two-eighths. Right? All right. In four through six, we're going to use this model. Number four says how many one-third parts are blue? How many pieces are blue? So there are two copies of that one third. There are two blue parts. Now it asks what is the fraction of the blue parts? So remember our numerator, our top number is how many copies of it? There are two copies of the blue. And my denominator is how many are all together? One, two, three. So two thirds of this shape are blue. Two copies, three all together, two thirds are blue. So what would the, what would the fraction be for yellow? One copy, three all together. So yellow would be one third. What fraction names all the parts, all of them. There's three copies and three all together. So three over three means one whole. All right? In seven through 10, write the unit fraction, then write the number of blue parts and the fraction. So there's three things for each one. Okay? Three jobs for each question. Unit fraction, how many pieces are there? There's two, so my unit fraction would be one over two. Then it says write the number of blue parts. How many blue parts? One. And then it says write the fraction of the whole that is blue. Well, it would be one blue part, one copy, and two all together. That's not always gonna be the same, just so you know, all right? We'll just skip down and do nine since it's right under it, all right? Um, step one, write the unit fraction that represents each part. One is the unit, there's one piece, and then my denominator is my all together. So the unit fraction for this shape is one fourth. Then it says write the number of blue parts. There are two. And then write the fraction for the blue parts. Two blue parts, four all together. So it would be two fourths. Slide on a number eight and 10. Okay. Um, unit fraction, how many pieces, how many copies are there? There's um, one, two, three, four, there's six. So my unit fraction is one sixth. There are three blue parts. And then what's the fraction of the blue? Three blue parts six all together, so it would be three sixths. Hopefully it's making some sense. And you can always get some extra practice in your um, additional workbook. The page number is there on Schoology for you. I'm doing this page all together just because it's brand new and I want to make sure you understand. Then you can practice if you want in your workbook. And what's great about the workbook, remember, is at the top part of the workbook, there's like a little mini teacher up there, a little, it gives you the directions. 
All right, um, what is the unit fraction? One. The unit fraction is eight, one eighth, because there are eight pieces. There are six blue, and so what would that fraction be for blue? Yep, six copies of it and eight all together. So the unit fraction there is six eighths. All right, number 11. Let's see, we're gonna skip number 11. Your job today for extra practice for your independent work to become that math wizard that I know you can be, you are going to finish 12, um, number 13, you can mark out that last line, okay, um, yes, 14, Yes, 15, 16, and 17 is your DP, your discussion post. Now, on the computer, there's not like a fraction line that goes straight across, okay? You're gonna have to use the slash. So your fractions will look like, um, well, I don't wanna do that. So your fractions, like this one would look like six, slash eight. It would not be up and down, okay? That would be one slash eight. That's how it's gonna look on the computer when you type it in, all right? <clears throat> um, so for your discussion post, select numbers from the box to write fractions to show three parts of each vegetable tray. So it's giving you one, two, three, four, five, six, it's giving you eight numbers but you're only gonna use six, okay? Select numbers from the box to write the fractions to show the three parts. So this would be like for the small, this would be the medium, and this would be the large, okay? So, let me see here. You are gonna use one number more than once, okay? Because it's asking to show three parts. So that would be like if you shade it in three pieces of each one, okay? Sorry, I shaded in, it's asking for three parts so I shaded in three pieces of each veggie tray. So what you're going to do is then tell me what the fraction is of the veggie tray, of the shaded parts. Remember that numerator is how many copies, how many pieces did you shade? And the denominator is your all together pieces, okay? So that should work out okay. If you have a question, you can message me. Again, it's asking for three parts in the question Okay, right here. So I shaded in three pieces on each veggie tray. Okay. And then your job is to tell me the fraction of this each veggie tray. We'll do the first one together. So I shaded three pieces and there are four pieces all together. So it should be pretty easy for you to do the other two. But I do want you to type all three of them in. So on the computer, it's gonna be three slash four comma something slash something comma something slash something, okay? I wish there was a different way to do it, but that's what we got, all right? You should be okay. Just don't forget to have your work checked. You can use your additional practice book for extra practice if you want, which is probably a good idea and then get your discussion post done for your veggie tray. See you later, Math Wizard.